Welcome back to SE Experts Radio Show, where we interview local professionals and experts in their field. Once again, joined by Roger Wakefield of Texas Green Plumbing. Phone number is 972-442-4101. He has a guest. It is Julie Wakefield. How are we doing, Julie and Roger? We're doing great, Anthony. Thanks. How are you? Just fine. I want to get your phone number out there real quick. It's 972-268-9500. And you're on the World Wide Web at jwetiquette.com. And once again, the number is 972-268-9500. I'll let y'all go ahead and take over for a second, Roger. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. You know, it's, it's really nice to have you on here, Julie, because you, you do a lot, not just for Texas Green Plumbing, but I love the fact that bringing you into the company helped me see plumbers in a different way and things that needed to be trained, I feel, in the plumbing industry, but especially our plumbers. Right. Well, and, and I know we, we've talked a lot about that in the very beginning because in the beginning I was just really more of your accounting bookkeeper type person answering the phones. But I think as we began to grow, we began to have a vision for our company. We saw that it was going to take a lot more of the training, not just the technical side, but the soft skills, the communication side, because plumbers today don't just go into a house, fix something, and leave. There's there's a process that has to go with it. Um, build value, build build value, gain trust, and um, you know that that's what we ultimately want. And our goal is to have lifelong customers. We don't want people to go to Google. So before you came in, before you came into Texas Green Plumbing, mm-hmm. what what did you do? And I know you're still you still do it, but where did you work? Right. Well, I started out as a teacher, an educator, and moved into soft skills training on the corporate side. So I'm a corporate trainer. I train in corporate etiquette and protocol. Um, And that basically boils down to soft skills. So our research shows that 85% of a person's success comes from soft skills training, not from technical training. And so that is something that needs to be rehearsed, developed, and trained and taught and modeled uh, from the top down in any company and individually as well. And henceforth is why she always says, I am her training in progress. Oh, work in progress. Absolutely, you are. So, you know, soft skills for a plumber or any tradesperson for that fact, it, it's not something that you think about. When a plumber walks up and he is actually thinking about what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what he can do to, to make the whole situation better, it's pattern interrupt. Oh, absolutely. And I think when people call a plumber, sometimes when people call plumbers, it's they have advance notice of something. Hey, I've got a remodel coming up, or hey, I'm going to change out a toilet or a fixture or something like that. But there are many times when people call, um, their water is running, in their house and they don't know how to shut it off or um, they're in crisis because their plumbing is backing up into the home and so there's an emotional crisis going on and it's how you handle that because you have to let the customer know look we got you we, we can take care of this we know what we're doing and you have to communicate that and help them get through that initial crisis so it's really important to understand that. And at times then, and, and you do, you, you answer the phone. We, we've also got Amber. But at times you're like a, a 911 operator. <laughs> Sometimes we feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the good thing is you, you understand how to, how to talk to people and, and let people know, look, I understand this is an emergency to you, but, but we, we're trained at this. We do this. Right. And these are things that we can handle. Right. So do different Plumbing companies, and you, and you get a lot of calls, and, and I know you I know you know the answer to this, but do different plumbing companies specialize in different things or different areas? Right. Yes, they do. And it's, it's interesting because before I got involved in plumbing and knew you, um, I didn't know that. I thought a plumber was just a plumber was just a plumber. Um, but that's not true. Each plumber has a specialty. Um, we specialize in slab leak, leak detection, water conservation. That's what makes us green. Um, we met a, a man just this week who specializes in tank to tankless conversions. That's, that's his specialty. That's what he does. 
We know plumbers who specialize in, in simply coming in and changing out fixtures. That's what they do best. They're good at it. They train on it, and that's what they do. So, you know, while we can do tank to tankless conversions, we can change out fixtures. Our specialty, what we specialize and like to do, is to conserve water, and that's that's our niche. It's really funny because I, I still remember what what it was that turned me green. I was sitting in a plumber's continuing education course, and the instructor got up and, he, and he's talking, and he says, "Y'all, in in twenty five to fifty years." People will not be able to have access to water the way we do. It will not be the same. Mm-hmm. And I, I was thinking about my granddaughters who actually happened to be here in the studio today. Yes. And I was thinking about them and I thought, okay, wait a minute. I always want them to have access to water. Mm-hmm. So I started focusing on, you know, I joined Green Plumbers USA. I became a lead AP. And then when we decided to open a plumbing company, it was – I want to focus on water conservation. I want to make that a big deal. Mm-hmm. So, real quick, if you don't mind, oh, go right for, ahead. for the listeners out there, what does LEAD AP mean? LEAD is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And it's the funny thing is, is it's not just water. It is the HVAC system, the windows, the carpet, the furniture, the roof, everything about it, even where it's built. It, is it... Is it built close to public transportation? Can people ride a dart bus and get to work where they don't have to drive a car every day? Mm-hmm. Are there bicycle parking spaces available? Are there electric car charger places available? It's, you know, every building being built now really focuses on energy conservation, sustainability, green. And and, and that's why getting the name, I, I, was, I was so blessed that, Texas Green Plumbing was available. Yeah. Like I told you earlier, I, I'm a huge, big-hearted Texan, and, and, and I love the state of Texas and everything about it. And water conservation being green and being a plumber, I mean, I, I probably could not have picked a better name, you know, under uh-huh. any circumstances. You got Texas in there, which is, you know, the great and mighty. And, you're, you know, I guess the green describes you to pretty much a T as a plumber. And, you know, with uh, conservation at, you know, first at hand, I mean, you know, we cannot save enough water. I mean, with the, especially in Texas with droughts and different things that, you know, our lovely um, government does to conserve water. But it, you know, the, the good thing here, Anthony, is and I say the good thing here lately, we haven't been under a drought. So people don't worry about water. Now, there's new products and a couple of months ago, we, we had Dr. Richard Diverse in from Meter Dog yep. from Kona Labs over in Hawaii. And his product is amazing. And we have finally get, we've got three of them in. We're putting them out. We're trying them and making sure there's no bugs in it. But to me, this is going to be something that's going to be huge because when it comes to water conservation, the first thing is awareness. If you've got a leak under your house at home and you don't even know it, it's no big deal. <laughs> Not until you see your water bill go up or water damage or something like that. And his product is very unique because it's going to make it where you'll know that you have a leak before there's any sign of it. I mean, almost immediately it sends you a notification and says, hey, look, your water meter has not stopped turning in the last five hours. (laughs) And and you keep getting that notification every hour until you're like, okay, look, I I need to look at this and see what's wrong. Definitely. And I guess uh, real quick for the listeners, how can people get in touch with Texas Green Plumbing? Texas Green Plumbing, I I tell everybody, my biggest focus is to help people fix things they can themselves. That helps them save money. And subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Expert Plumber, I've got videos on there that, that literally show people what plumbing is. We did a video yesterday where I'm showing people how to solve a problem if their sewer backs up, if they've got a water leak, or if they've got a gas leak. And these are things that they can do themselves quick and easy. And and then it puts them into not an emergency situation. Like Julie said a while ago, you don't want to wait till you've got an emergency to try to find out who your plumber is going to be. Start doing research now and find out that plumber. So on YouTube at The the Expert Plumber, and then on the web at texasgreenplumbing.com, And then give us a call at the office at 972-442-4101. Awesome. Well, real quick, we're going to take another break, if you don't mind. 
And for our listeners out there, if you want to call in and talk with Roger, it is 214-817-787-1190. This is Ask the Experts Radio Show. We'll be back in about two to three minutes on the other side of the break. Just stay with us. 